Hello and welcome to this video for the PQ Magazine's Back to Basics series. Within this video, we'll be examining the difference between what a basic tax point is and what an actual tax point is. Let's first though answer the question, what is a tax point? Well, a tax point is the date on which VAT becomes due on a transaction. The VAT on that transaction must then be included within the appropriate VAT return for the quarter in which that date falls. So now we've established what a tax point is, let's take a look at what a basic tax point is and what an actual tax point is. The basic tax point is created when the goods or services have been made available to the customer. However, the actual tax point is created when an invoice is issued or payment is made by the customer. Now the business can only have one tax point for each transaction, and this will either be the basic tax point or the actual tax point. With this in mind then, which one do we choose? The order in which the tax point is recognized is shown on screen now. So we can see that if the payment is made or an invoice created prior to when the goods or services were made available, this would be your actual tax point. If both payment is made and invoice issued before the goods were made available, then the earliest of the payment date and invoice date would be used as the tax point. Let's now say that the goods or services were made available before payment was made or the invoice was issued. The date that the goods or services were made available would be your tax point. However, if the invoice is issued or payment is made within 14 days of the goods or services being made available, then this would become your new tax point. However, if this was to happen after 14 days, then the date that the goods or services were made available, i.e. the basic tax point, would remain as is. We'll now work through a couple of examples to put this into practice. Rockstar Limited received an order for goods from a customer on the 15th of March. The goods were dispatched on the 19th of March and the customer paid on the 16th of April when they received their invoice dated the 14th of April. What would the tax point be for this transaction? The business has received the order on the 15th of March. This can be ignored as receiving an order does not in itself create a tax point. The goods were made available to the customer on the 19th of March. This would be your basic tax point. The next check is to make sure the invoice or payment wasn't made within 14 days of this date. In this question, neither the invoice being issued or payment were made within 14 days and therefore the basic tax point would remain as the tax point for this transaction on the 19th of March. Let's now look at a second example. Monster Limited had goods delivered on the 18th of November. The payment was made on the 2nd of November and the invoice was issued on the 21st of November. What would be the tax point on the transaction? In this scenario, the basic tax point would be the 18th of November, as that's when the goods were made available to Monster. However, because payment was made on the 2nd of November, which is before the basic tax point, this would have created an actual tax point. This would therefore be the tax point for this transaction. And that covers our second scenario and wraps up this video on basic and actual tax points. Hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.